YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Anthony Barber coming at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be doing a low fade with a pompadour top. Before cutting any client, I always comb my client's hair. Always. I think it's very important. It just puts everything into perspective and it allows you to see everything as you should. So now that I got them combed out, I'm gonna grab my Anda Slimline Pro and begin to set my first guideline, which is gonna be my bald guideline. I usually don't show both sides of the head when I'm setting guides and removing them, but on this particular cut, I went ahead and did so just because I wanted to show that you could take the same exact steps and trust the same system even when both sides of the haircut are gonna look complete opposite. And what I mean by that is if you look at this side of the hair, it's complete opposite of what the other side is going to look like and what it looks like now. But I'm taking the same exact steps and I'm just trusting the process and it's going to give me that dope consistency that I look for every time. So now that everything's set, I'm going to take my Anna shaver and I'm going to completely ball out the guy that was just set. Now I'm going to come through and do some cleanup with my liners and I'm cleaning up what was kind of left behind with the shaver. Um, I always don't do this in all my videos but with some clients no matter how hard you try to avoid it the shaver does leave somewhat of a line. So you just come in with your liners like I'm doing right now just clean it up make everything smooth or you can flip the liners like I just did kind of tap downwards and it'll just uh, help you remove that line. Now I'm going to come through with my wall magic clip with the lever open and I'm going to begin to set my next guide. Typically I give myself about an inch but because I am trying to keep this fade low I'm only going to go up about a half of an inch. Now that it's set, I'm going to close the lever and begin to work my way from the bottom, opening the lever as I go up. And as I do this, you're going to notice that that guide's constantly being raised. And every time I open the lever, 
it's going to continue to raise it until eventually I open it enough that it's completely faded out. After I set that guide and removed it, I noticed some weight right where I pointed at. So I'm going to come back through with my and is shaver and I'm going to tap downwards at the line until it's completely gone. So now that my blend's coming together smoothly, I'm going to take my wall number one color guard and I'm going to set my next guide. And just like I just showed you, when I get towards the top of the guide that I'm setting, I'm going to scoop outwards. I'm not going to dig in because I'm not trying to set something harsh. I'm trying to set myself up for my next step, which is going to be clipper over comb. Now that it's set, I'm going to close the lever and I'm going to begin to work from the bottom towards the top, opening the lever as I go up, just like the previous step. But the number one guard closed isn't going to completely remove that guide, but it's going to soften it. And that's going to get us ready for our next step with the wall half guard. Now we're going to come through with that half guard with the lever open and we're going to slightly go above the guideline that we see that we want to remove and we're going to close the lever as needed fading downwards until the line is completely gone. Now I'm going to come through with that clipper over comb work I was talking about and I don't necessarily know how to explain to you the proper way so that you could follow through with this but I did try to film it and right there I try to show you what I look for before I cut but I always come in with my wall magic clip with the lever open instead of closed because it allows a little room for mistakes and then I just go in with the comb and I <clears throat> see I can't I'm trying to explain to you how and I don't necessarily know how to say it so I'm gonna let you follow along and hope you get something useful out of it So now to clean up any weight under that clipper over comb, I'm going to use my wall one and a half premium guard with the lever open and I'm going to begin to just clean up and I'm going to close the lever as needed. And what I do know with the clipper over comb is the comb to the scalp is almost or it's equivalent to a one and a half or slightly bigger or something like that. But I do know that when I use my clip rover comb, I always come through and clean up behind it with my wall one and a half guard with the lever open. And then just as I said, I close the lever as needed and fade downwards until it looks clean. 
now I'm going to begin my shirt work and there's really not a lot to explain here I'm just giving them a really basic light trim but I thought maybe somebody might get something useful out of it so I went ahead and shared it anyways Now that I'm done with my shear work, I'm going to begin my pre-style and I'm going to apply some product. Right here I'm using some American Crew Pomade. Um, it does give the hair somewhat of a shine, but my client likes that. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going through it today. And then I'm going to come through and I'm going to just do a little bit of blow drying and uh, just kind of get the hair to take the shape that I want which is a pompadour because that's what my client's looking for. y'all we're getting ready to come up on that finished look so i just wanted to take this time to say thank you for watching if you got anything useful out of this smash that like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button be blessed and be a blessing i'm out y'all